I love you so much. Yes. You are part of Daytime Legacy. And I meant every word of that, because it's easy for people to go to the top of the food chain, the Oprah's and the Phil Donahue's, and they are the top of the food chain. Your name is right there. Oh, you, you did it. Thank you. Thank, you. thank you. And a lot of people don't know, you walked away from talk. Yeah. Because you wanted to do something different. Yeah, well, talk was going, you know, in the 90s, there were 50 million talk shows. Yeah. And I think there were like three of us. It was Jerry and me and Geraldo that were trying to break through the, all the other shows that were already there. And, you know, there were some sensational things going on. You know, the baby daddy drama yeah. and all of this stuff. And it was, and it got to a point where it just got nasty. And you didn't want any and part of it. And I just didn't want a part of it. We had one show, Tamron, where there was a couple and the guy reveals that he was having an affair on this woman. The woman says, well, I'm having an affair on you. Oh. And, and the guy stood up and went oh. and spit on this woman. And I said, no more. I cannot do You're this. You're done. I can't take a shower after every show. Yeah. And I came out and apologized to the audience. I gave everybody pizza. They gave me a standing ovation and I said, I don't want this to be the direction that the Rolanda show goes to. Tamron, your name is up there. Everybody else will go off and get other jobs, okay? <laughs> but it's about your brand. And that's what, why I wanted the talk show titans, as we called y'all, to come on, because this is a platform that is responsible, meaning, here's Montel talking about MS, Ricky Lake talking about, you know, gay couples before anyone else, you using your journalistic background to have a show of integrity That's right. at the time was critical. Well, we had, we were the only talk show that had a seat in the O.J. Simpson trial. We had the first exclusive with Tanya Harding. We had Jeffrey Dahmer's parents on. We had talked to LaToya Jackson back when all the stuff was happening with Michael. So we were able to pull really exclusive stories. We even went live down in Miami when we were dealing with immigration issues yeah. long before. We so had... was it hard to walk away with all of those accomplishments? Was it hard to walk away? I think at the time, you know, just a talk show doesn't determine who I am. Does not. And even with my podcast, Rolanda on Demand nowadays, I'm talking about it. I, if they, and I've been doing commentary on, you oh. know, some of the shows, the news shows yeah. about different things. My voice is still there. Um, yes, you do miss that hour of power to be able to make a difference in people's yeah. lives because we were talking about things that people didn't want to talk about. Families in crisis. Yeah. We got kids out of gangs. We yeah. went into prisons. You and made a difference. We made a difference. And then when you, you got to a point where your difference had to be how sensational you were without being compelling at all. That's when I said, I, I got to go do something else. Spelman College and Columbia University and Bellman Sonny Watts ain't having it. Yes, yes. <laughs> so. <laughs>